Fora TV. The world is thinking. The song Welcome to the Black Parade is a song about a young man who, you know, who was born with a heart full of dreams, you know, and, and wanted to, to make a difference and change the world and was then shown, you know, in his teens and twenties the world as it is, which disappointed and frustrated him and disgusted him at every turn. And then at the end of the song, the really heroic part of the song is when he says, I don't care about the world and what it throws at me. I have my heart, you know, I have my unique and special feeling for what is right, which has been with me since I was born. Okay, so that's that's you know, that song is romantic is romantic philosophy one oh one. But then you know, so what happens when a thousand people hear that or a hundred thousand people hear that? And they all love it and they all feel it too and they all come to a concert and they all sing along with those words. Now suddenly you have a, a mass movement based on the idea that everybody is a unique and special individual, you know. <laughs> and, and this is something that the fans absolutely understand, you know, like, like I, I saw this great little bit of YouTube footage from a, a day of action that British fans organised when, when um, there was a bit of a well, a bit of a, there was a, there was a huge kind of media hullabaloo about emo, particularly in Britain, uh, about a year and a half ago, because a young fan of the music committed suicide, you know, and so there was the usual kind of um, scare campaign about, you know, is your child an emo? Are you aware of the warning signs? All of that kind of, <laughs> that kind of stuff, you know. And and of course this 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 was infuriating to the fans because because they knew, you know, as 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 Gerard Way and the band know that that My Chemical Romance's music is as much about life as it is about death, and and of course it, you know it confronts death head on as the best love song. And, and, and songs about life do, you know, even Nick Cave knows that. Um, but, but, you know, but the media was tending to see it in very black and white terms. So anyway, they had this, this day of action. They organised a protest to defend their favourite band. And a journalist who was there asked one of the, one of the fans, a really young girl, what, why, why they were there. And she said, we're all alone together, you know, <laughs> which I thought was, was great. You know, that's, that, that's, you know that's, that's what it is. That's, the, that's what the movement is about, but it's also the, the contradiction at the, at the heart of the movement. And, and you know, and... And My Chemical Romance, at a certain point in that tour, realised that they had to kill the thing that they'd created. You know, it's and and this is this is this is history repeating itself. This is another one of the stories that I found so interesting. Welcome to the Black Parade is is based, in in many ways, on Ziggy Stardust, on David Bowie's album Ziggy Stardust, the rise and fall of Ziggy Stardust, and the spiders from Mars. And and with that album, Bowie created again, you know, a kind of teenage religion. You know, this this magnet for all the alienated and lonely teenagers of the world who felt like they had an outsider to look to, somebody else who was different from everybody else, you know, who they could identify with. And at a certain point, Bowie looked out and saw a million people who looked like him and went, oh my God, what have I done, you know? And, and so, and he killed it, you know, he, he actually, it, it's one of, to me, it's one of the greatest moments in rock and roll is when, and you can see it in a film, and, and Bowie standing on stage at the Hammersmith Odeon and saying, not only is this the last show of the tour, it's the last show we'll ever do. And, you know, and, and what he was saying, he was, you know, he was in character, he was Ziggy, you know, it wasn't the last David Bowie concert ever by any means, and he knew that, but, he, but it was the last Ziggy concert, concert and, and all of the fans understood that, and, and you know, you, you hear the sound of a Hammersmith Odeon full of kids just screaming, no, <laughs> it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty chilling stuff, and, and, and Gerard Way, to his credit, I think, you know, made a very similar decision. He realised at a certain point that he had, to, he had to kill the thing that he created, that he couldn't, you know, as a as a believer in individualism, he couldn't create an army and then lead it, you know, because that's ridiculous. You know, you've, you've spent your whole life reacting against the idea of a mass. You can't then create a mass and, and be its leader. That's that's you know that's nonsense. And so and so he had to he had to kill the black the black parade, and that's that's what the that became the end of their tour. It's an amazing story.